Hello and uh, welcome you guys on uh, the uh, tutorial on uh, programming uh, in Java. So in the last session and the last video I have discussed uh, three of the programs on box. So today I want to explain the fourth, and fifth and sixth program on the box. Uh, let us look at this program in example. So where uh, I have taken again the same thing, a class box, which is three instance variable that is width, height, and depth. And here I have taken one method to compute value in the same class box. So this will calculate the volume of box. So return width into height into depth. So it will calculate the volume of box and it will return its value. So next one more class I have taken that is box demo four. Uh, public static void main string ARGS. So I have created the two objects of class box by using a new operator. So my box one is object of first box and my box two is object of second box. So look at this. I have instantiated the variable. So I have initialized that variables width, height, and depth by using my box one object. So these are the values of width, height, and depth. So similarly, I have instantiated the second object so by assigning its value. So my box two dot width is three. My box two dot height is six. My box two dot uh, depth is nine. So now I'll I want to calculate the value of both the boxes. So call this value method which is present in above class with respect to the object. Okay. So here I have called uh, the value method with respect to my box one object. So then it will take this values of width, height, and depth, and then it will go to value this method, and then it will calculate the volume of box. So when you multiply all of this, it will be three thousand, and that will be written here. So this wall variable will store, which is a double variable, and it will store the volume of first box. Look at this. I have printed the volume of first box so by using system dot out dot print ln. So volume is plus one that will be printed. So three thousand first volume is three thousand. So similarly here I have calculated the volume of second box by using the object my box two. So then it will take these values of width, height, and depth, and it will go to volume function or volume method. And then so it will assign the value of width, height, and depth here. So I think it is one sixty two, and that value will be returned here. So again. So I have used the same variable to store the result. So earlier result was 3000. So now it is overwritten as 162. So the new value of this wall is 162, and I am printing that value. So value is 162. So first time it will print value is 3000. Second time it will print the value is 162. So this is the value for first box, and this is the value that I will calculate for second box. So uh, let us run the program. Java, Java C. So the file name I think I have given it as box demo four. So box demo four dot Java. So no errors. Next I will look at this. So volume is three hundred. Volume is one sixty two. So like this, you can calculate the volume of third box. By creating the object of third box and fourth box like this, can calculate the volume of n number of boxes. Okay. So let us go to the next example. That is box demo file. Look at this. I have used one method here that is set div. So this is called as a parameterized method. So this is how we can add a parameterized method to the class. Okay. So look at this. I have taken the same class box. With three instance variable width, height, and depth again the same thing. So one that is value method which will calculate the value of the box. Look at this. This is a new method which I have taken here, which is called as parameterized method. So where it is taking three parameters that is double W, double H, double D. So hence it is called as parameterized method. And the name of method is set div that is set dimension. So W is assigned to width variable. H is assigned to height, and D is assigned to depth variable. So now, what I am going to do is to calculate the value. 
I will pass the width height depth value to set dim function. In turn, this set dim function assigns the value of w h d to width height and depth respectively. So then it will calculate the value of box. So instead of writing or instead of uh, writing my box one dot width is equal to ten, my box one dot height is equal to twenty, my box one dot depth is equal to fifty. Instead of writing like this. Here we will call that set time function, and then we will send this all these three values w, h, and d to this uh, method. So this method itself assigns the value to width, height, and depth respectively, and it then it will calculate the value. So this is called as parameterized method. So look at this for class box demo, public static variable string a r j s. So here I have taken three objects. Okay, so three boxes. And three objects are created and double val to store the value. Look at this. First, I have called this setDim function and 10, 20, 15 is passed. So 10 is the value for w that is width. 20 is the value for h that is height. And 15 is the value that is for depth. So then it will assign this value width, height, and depth respectively. So look at this second function, my box two dot set team. So these are the value for my box two width, height, depth. And similarly, here I have assigned one more value for uh, my box three, that is third box. So this is the width, this is height, this is depth. So W H D, that is width, height, and depth. It is assigned. So look at this. I have called the value function. So it will take these values for width, height, and depth because I have called this value function with respect to my box one. So this is the width, this is the height, and this is the depth. So then it will calculate the value of first box that is three thousand. So second, I have called value function again. So with respect to my box two object. So then it will take three, six, and nine as the argument. So as a value. So this is for width, this is for height, and this is for depth. Then it will calculate the value, and I think the value is one sixty two that will be printed. And the next. Value method are called with respect to third box. That is third box objects, my box three. So then uh, it will take the value one, two, three, four, width, height, and depth, and then it will calculate the value of this box. I think this is the uh, one into two into three. That is six. So value of third box is six. That will be printed here. So this is how we can add a parameterized method, and through sending by sending arguments, we can calculate the value of n number of boxes like this. Okay. So this set dim function. So here it will take three arguments and three parameters. And here I have passed three arguments. And all these types are uh, double type. You can see over here. So it will take three parameters, which is of the type double. Okay. So let us uh, execute this program once again. So I think it is box demo five. So I'll change here. One error is there. Let's see what that error. The one class. Okay, one second. Okay, look at this. Uh, I have written as minus class, so it is showing me error. One second, I'll save it. And now I'll run it. So first I'll compile it. So now look at this. There is no error. And then I'll run it. We'll look at this volume of first box, volume of second box, and volume of third box will be fit. So thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.